Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu bypassed the White House and joined a virtual meeting with Republicans in the Senate. What did he tell them? NBC's Julie Serkin is reporting for us from Capitol Hill. Um, so, Julie, this is something that many people have been advising President Biden to do, to bypass Netanyahu and speak directly to the Knesset. Well, Netanyahu is once again doing it to President Biden. What happened in today's meeting? Well, Katie, first of all, just great timing because I'm told this meeting literally just wrapped up in the last few minutes. Netanyahu, the prime minister, spoke by video to Senate Republicans in a closed door lunch for close to an hour. The whole purpose of this, he was invited by Senator John Barrasso, one of the top Republicans, was to, first of all, have Republicans reaffirm their support of Netanyahu, especially after those remarks made by Leader Schumer, really scathing comments, ones in which were told by senators flooding out of this room that Netanyahu himself brought up and said they were shocking comments. He he was disappointed by them, but also it was opportunity for Republicans to ask questions of the prime minister to get an update on both what Israel needs in their war effort, but also there were some questions, including the civilian death toll in Gaza. One Republican had told members of our team that that was pointedly asked of Netanyahu and that Netanyahu was, quote, very mindful in giving that answer. Uh, I did, however, get a chance this morning to ask Speaker Johnson about something else, uh, comments made by former President Trump saying that any Jewish American who votes for Democrats, who supports uh, Democrats, is hateful against Israel and is hateful against their religion. Here's what Johnson had to say to me about that. I don't, I don't speak for President Trump, but I, I understand the sentiment that he's trying to express. I mean, if you look at the voting records, you know, I mean, look, look at the Israel funding. You know, we talked about the supplemental. Um, I've tried on two different occasions to push the Israel, uh, you know, funding uh, request through. We did it with a pay for initially right out of the blocks, right after I became speaker. And, and then we did a clean Israel bill. And the president issued a, a veto threat over that. I, I, I was stunned. I, could, I actually couldn't believe that he did that. And Johnson also said that Trump's language is his language, but clearly agreeing with the sentiment there. Johnson also said that he, too, spoke to Netanyahu earlier this morning, again bringing up those comments made by Schumer when he called for a, essentially a government change in Israel to call for elections last week, a speech that many Republicans pretty much unanimously have condemned here, and one in which, again, Netanyahu himself brought up uh, during these closed-door remarks uh, last hour here, Katie. Julie, thank you very much.